day 82 of the Gulf oil disaster, BP's broken well is again freely gushing crude oil, and it will stay that way for the next four to seven days. Just a short time ago, the company confirmed it removed the containment cap that had been sitting on top of the blowout preventer for the past few weeks. BP plans to install a new and improved containment cap, one designed to capture all of the spewing oil. But first, the top portion of the blowout preventer must be unbolted and it has to be removed. And that could take at least a day, at least a day, maybe longer. In the meantime, up to 60,000 barrels of oil flow from the well each and every day. We want to go now to CNN producer Vivian Quo. She joins us now by phone to explain this whole process. Hey, Vivian, thanks for joining us. If I have this correctly, if I understand it right, BP is taking a step backwards in order to move forward. Hi, Don. Uh, that's uh, exactly right in some regards. Um, as you said, they've taken off the current existing LMRP containment cap, and so you see that tremendous rush of oil coming out. Now, they still are collecting approximately 8,000 to 9,000 barrels per day through one of the valves on the blowout preventer to go, go into one of the vessels. But, yes, it's kind of a dramatic picture that you're seeing right now, this oil gushing from the top. Now, uh, you can see the ROVs uh, doing their job. They're unbolting the flange. And, again, these, this unbolting activity is going to take us into tomorrow. Um, from start to finish here, it's going to take BP approximately four to seven days to complete this process, get the new permanent seal on, and then – they, we really will see some wrapping up of containment activity from there. Okay, listen, hey, Vivian, will you go into a little bit more of, a, uh, of specifics about this? Because I'm understanding it, it is a three-step process. Remove the old containment cap, remove the top of the blowout preventer, install the new containment cap. So uh, the time frame is what exactly for that, for all of this to be done? Again, it's, it's approximately four to seven days. Now, this is all contingent on a weather window. Um, earlier today, Senior Vice President Kent Wells said they're taking advantage of a particularly good weather window that we're in right now. And you remember a couple uh, last week and the week before, it was Hurricane Alex and a low-pressure system that caused some, uh, caused some problems for activity in the Wellsite area. Well, with the sea state being relatively calm, they're able to proceed, and they're going to maximize their efforts right now. All right, Vivian, thank you. Very good explanation. Um, hopefully our viewers understood that. I did, and we appreciate you providing some perspective on this.